What's up guys? It's early in the morning on the next day. We, it was an epic seminar last night. Did a lot of talking. My voice was almost hoarse. But today, we got invited to go fishing. And I'm excited because we originally had no plans. But today we're headed to a secret lake, secret location. And we are gonna be fishing for a striped bass, freshwater striped bass, and hopefully walleye. I'm really excited. Brand new spot once again, brand new types of fishing techniques we're gonna learn. Um, so it's time to go. We're gonna load up the car here and then get on the road and get ourselves to the lake. We got a couple hours drive. We have made it to the secret, secret fishing spot today. I'm about to hop onto the boat. We have really, basically the lake levels are really high with all the rain they've had. So we're trying to make the most of this and put the boat in the water, but I'm gonna hop into the boat first with Captain Al. Welcome to your breath. Flooded universe. My goodness, this is deep. Insane. This is insane. The rain is really pretty. Oh, really cold. Dock, we're on the boat, that. ready to fish. Today we're fishing with Captain Al and Don from the Atlanta Saltwater Sportsman's Club. And they invited us out. And we're excited to be fishing on the secret lake today. Wow. That's what you make. Okay. We've been out on the lake now for a little while. We're basically scouting, looking at different areas, looking for bait, looking for fish. And because of all the rain that they've had in Georgia lately, it's just tough conditions out here. The lake levels are really, really high. The water is usually gin clear and we have really kind of muddy water, but this is the best water we found. And we just started marking some bait and some fish. So now we're finally gonna get lines out because you really don't want to blind troll. You want to be somewhere where you see stuff on your depth finder. So that's what we're doing. Dropping down now and the lake temp is like 51 degrees. And I think that's why it's so chilly. I am freezing right now. But. <laughs> I'm gonna stick it out because I can't wait to catch some, hopefully some striped bass and then walleye as well. Yeah, that's bottom. We are getting one of our lines here. I'm stuck from the bottom. Basically, there are tons of trees down here on the bottom um, sticking straight up and some of these lines get tangled and he's retrieving it right now with the retriever. Is that what it's called, the retrieval? Yes. Nice. Now, that's the hardest time I've ever had. And then that hooks your... Mmm, I see. That, that hooks your rig. Fish. That's a fish? That's a fish. Get it down? Or you get it down? Yeah. Go ahead, yeah, go ahead. Just so I don't have to get up there. Stuck in there. All right, y'all, we are hooked up. Pretty sure we're hooked up. I'm trying to click her off. Okay, so we've been out here a while now, trolling. Like I said, it's just tough conditions today, but we're not giving up. We've been trolling, going, you know, just trolling all over this lake, looking for fish, marking them on the depth finder, looking for bait, and we are now hooked up. This fish is coming in. We're clearing other rods out, and he's coming up quick now. Ooh, nice pulling. Nice. We're gonna see what it is. Might be my first ever something cool, but I don't want to jinx it because he's not here yet. <laughs> I just saw a flash, saw the fish. Still cold, but now I'm warming up, fighting fish. I have so many layers on, it's not even funny. Woo! Hybrid, nice. I'll take it. Oh, he's big. Oh. Ooh, look at that thing! Nice That's a massive hybrid! Holy oh goodness gracious! That's a sunshine bass! That's a sunshine yeah. bass? <laughs> wow! I still have that big Holy gracious! Sunshine bass! We literally catch those in Florida too, but I have never caught one of that size. That is wild! Look at that thing! <laughs> That's massive! Look at that fish! Sick! Sick fish. Oh yeah, I gotta put this rod down here. All right, that is the biggest sunshine bass or hybrid bass of my entire life, thanks to Captain Al, putting me on this freaking toad. Look at that fish. Definitely my PV. I don't even know how big that fish would be. Eight, nine pounds maybe. 
gorgeous hybrid. All right, this gorgeous, fat, huge striper of my entire life is going back. I guess he just head dunked him, but I'll just do this. I'll be nice. Hey, there he goes. Oh, that water's cold. Whew. Now I'm warmed up a little. I might take a layer off. So let's get lines right back out and catch my fish. Thank you. Fish on, baby. All right, so we're getting, so the sun is still setting here. We don't have a whole lot of sunlight left. Let me turn this clicker off. We're clearing up lines, but we got a fish on again. Hopefully it stays hooked. That last fish we did hook somehow came off the hook. You do? Two fish, Two fish on. Up. We're doubled up now. Heck yeah. That's what Captain Al called. He was like, we're going to be where all the bait fish are and where all the fish are. We're going to see what happens. He's coming in. Yes, he's getting close now. He's close, very close. It's a striper, a uh, hybrid, hybrid. Hybrid on the umbrella rig. First time fishing umbrella rigs too for me. I really don't know a whole lot about them. And Captain Al ties his own umbrella rigs. And we got another fish in the boat. Another beautiful hybrid. Oh, it is a striper. I'm sorry, striper, striper, baby striper. Nice. So seeing them just real quick like that and me not catching a whole lot of them, I don't know the exact difference, but <laughs> the little guy is cute. Relax, buddy. There you go. That is actually... Uh, Hard to tell when they're young. That's a, that's a, that could be a baby striper. Could be a baby striper. Could be a baby striper. Nice. So let's, like a baby nice. Striper. let's get another picture. I want to get a picture with my yeah. shirt off. So, you can see y'all, go ahead and let us know, but we believe it is a baby striper, not a hybrid, and actually it just looks different. It's not as wide body, broad body on it, real long on this guy, but he's beautiful. Nice fish. Heck yeah. Let's get a couple picks, let him go. Whoa! Jeez. He was aggressive. He kind of did a backflip right there. That was kind of cool. All right. That's another nice fish. We didn't get that walleye, walleye yet, but you never know what can happen out here. We just have a little bit of daylight left. Hopefully send them some lines back out. Cross my fingers for more fish. Hey, we're here at Cartersville Lake, and the water's up like 15, 20 feet over pool. And while we were out fishing, we came out, and the road is actually underwater. Uh, it, it came up another three or four feet while we were here. Absolutely crazy. This boat dock is probably 20 feet underwater from when it was two weeks ago. The road is flooded. Just got back from fishing. The road is totally, totally flooded. Wasn't flooded before. Pretty wild. Here goes the trailer. Here's Al getting out of his boat. We, the lake is up like 20 feet from the normal pool. Um, we came out today at 11 o'clock. The water has came up like three feet since we went out today. It's absolutely crazy. This is Brian from Darcy's Offshore, back in the trailer end. Brian, there's Darcy on the other side of the lake uh, driveway, lake driveway. Uh, boat ramp combination we got going on here, and uh, this is just absolutely insane. Water's come up about three feet here today, fishing in Atlanta, Georgia. The road was not like this before at all. There was no water here. Water's come up about three feet, super high on Lake Carter right now. And they're pulling the boat out, as you can see, in the water. Pretty crazy, y'all. Wild I wasn't sure if we we're gonna make it out of that boat onto the ramp or from the ramp to the house because like that road was totally blocked with water. It was pretty wild. That little the little rental car we were in, like we got over that flood. But if it was any higher, that would have been bad. Yeah, I mean, if we would have stayed another couple hours, it might have been too high to like get our car across. Yeah. It was weird. Yeah. But uh, so that was a pretty exciting. Uh, you know, we didn't catch a ton of fish out there, but Darcy's PB hybrid. Yes. So that was sick. But you know. Yes. And that doesn't happen in Florida when the water goes up like 15 feet in a couple weeks. 
and then three feet in a couple hours, yeah. you know, what are you going to do? Yeah, you know, that's what, what those guys do? said. That they thought it went up at least three feet. That's a ton of water if you think about it, just in that short window. Yeah, for a huge lake. But like I also want to say special thanks to our new friends, Captain Al and Dawn yes. from the Atlanta Saltwater Sportsman Club. Thanks for taking us out. We're just going to have to do it again and get the walleye we wanted to get. Yeah, we got to get our walleye. And if you guys are in that area, in the Atlanta area, really check out that Atlanta Saltwater Sportsman Club. Great bunch of guys. Link below. Yeah, family club. They do a ton of activities all the time and just great people, real gentlemen. So I'm really had a great time. Yes. But, um, and it just goes to show you guys that anything that changes, any changes to the conditions, whether it's a front or rain or a flood, it shuts off the bite. So you guys can see that and that's real. That's why we keep it real over here and show you what really happens out there. Yeah. All right, so until our next adventure, we're actually working on a catch, clean, cook right now, <laughs> filming for this week. So you guys stay tuned. We're gonna have extra content for you. So until then, follow, follow your dreams, dreams and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Thanks.